Well, a revolutionary treatment tonight at UCSF Benioff Children's Hospital in the East Bay. For the first time ever, doctors have edited a gene inside a patient's body. It's very exciting stuff. ABC 7 News reporter Katie Udis explains who this treatment could help. Imagine spending four hours or more each week at the hospital. I've been doing it for nine when I was nine months, so 12 years. Amro Hoshea has a rare genetic disorder that requires weekly transfusions. It's part of my life, and I'm used to it, so no, I, I can't hate it. If we can do something that would um, liberate people from, from the hospital, from the clinic, that would be great. Nurse practitioner Jacqueline Madden is part of a team of researchers at UCSF Benioff Children's Hospital, Oakland. Earlier this week, for the first time ever, doctors edited a gene within a patient's body. Scientists at Sangamo Therapeutics developed the synthetic corrective gene. Doctors then transfused it into 44-year-old Brian Madeau. It cuts the DNA at a very specific point and inserts the code for this missing enzyme so that the cell itself will begin to produce that enzyme. The goal is for the patient's DNA to be permanently corrected. Mado has Hunter syndrome, a rare disease related to liver enzymes. It's debilitating and many who have it die young. The experimental treatment is not without risk of complications. He is a real pioneer. Doctors will now monitor the effectiveness of Mado's treatment. If the method works, it could be used to treat other metabolic disorders and potentially children like Amro. In Oakland, Katie Udis, ABC 7 News.